Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video I'm going to review the uh, Iron Man Mark 21 Medallions from the uh, Comic Cave so this is the uh, 6 inches tall, about 200 gram heavy um, so this is 75% die cast with fully art articulated about 20 points and also the LED lighter point as you can see on the chest and the eye now I can get this one from the Hot Toys uh, Medias as well. I wanted to get that one after I seen the uh, Justin uh, collection videos, and but I decided to cancel it because of the a lot of people in uh, social media complaining that their their quality control is not very very good. And the paint job is amazing. It's really nice and glossy compared to this Comic Cave. This is not that glossy as uh, I was hoping for, and you can see on the actual photos on the uh, the box is really awesome and this is what I was hoping for but the reality is not that glossy as I was hoping for so which is a really disappointing but then again this is a comic cave so it's about less than 100 pounds and the, the hot toy is about 100 pounds you know 400 pounds sorry so it's full time the price on that so now I will have to see this one in person when I go back to Hong Kong and uh, you know because they have lots of paint quality control so if I see this one in person if I have you know uh, identified that there is no flaw with the paint job that I pick it up in the future but anyway so let's get look at on this guy a bit more closer so you get all the materials as uh, usual so unfortunately this one took about a month to get to UK and actually more than that so because of that uh, all the paint jobs is kind of like damaged on the way so you can see the uh, all the cover here that there are gold paints and stuff everywhere basically and you got all the usual hands and fists as usual you got all the typical uh, fire effects pieces here as well and this one is fully kitted out with the, all the weapons and accessories so if I show you closer now you got LED lighter point as usual the chest is very bright the eyes are okay not too bright as the chest and as you can see the chest is really uh, damaged on the paint job which is really disappointing but then again I can't do anything about it that's the way it is they should have put the, uh, some kind of plastic cover on the chest or some kind of like a phone to cover the uh, paint to protect it but they none of the figures come with that so you have to you know hope for the luck I guess so if some of the figures like my civil centurion arrive perfect condition but this one hasn't so which is really annoying nevertheless and I put all the uh, weapons on here so I got all the shoulder rockets and uh, arm rockets here and also on the bite and uh, also has some rocket in here so they're all fully kitted out now the gaps on my previous mark 7 videos that i show uh, i managed to seal this up a bit better so you can see the front is way way better than the one on the photo so the one on the photo is really big gaps now because uh, i push it too hard on the front and it seals ish but at the back then it creates more gaps now obviously you don't have this problem in the hot toys but then again don't forget the price that you're paying for for 400 pounds now this is the less than 100 pounds so you have to compromise somewhere you can't get everything perfect now obviously there are 75 percent die cards but i don't know whether it's real or not uh, i don't feel like this one is actual that heavy as the my silver centurion silver centurions feel a lot heavier than this so I think most of the die cast piece is on the legs and then on the chest or the waist and so is the head they are actually plastic I don't think that they are die cast because they are not cold to touch but the biceps feel a bit die cast and so is the uh, arms and there I think they are die cast pieces so is the shoulder pad and the rest is the all plastic I have a feeling so and there is the uh, battery compartment here so all you gotta do is take this out and then you can put the battery uh, on and off here and then you got all the uh, flat can be articulated you can move it down or up whatever you like so they're actually nice and yeah so paint job is generally okay but I wish that they make all this paint a little bit more glossier than the uh, what it is now so there are rose gold here you got a uh, normal gold here in the uh, actual Hot Toys figures, this one is really nice. The chest piece is really completely uh, shiny, glossy gold. 
and then on the waist part also here is a lot more details in hot toys and you got silver and i remember on the photos you got silver pieces and also the rose golds and normal gold so you got three different color in here and with a much more details and uh, on this side but in here it's very vague you see the lines are missing and so on and so forth so yeah uh, i guess you got what you pay for uh, if you want the uh, premium top and quality i would say go with the hot toys um, but this one is okay for now it does a job but i wouldn't say this is the best uh, of the iron man figures for the quality wise i would say silver centurion is way better quality than this one so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching